Good evening, good evening. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Pro Wrestling Talk video brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the YouTube of the Tube. My name is Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram. So, we're going to do some spotlight on the Joshis with a triple header. That's right. I'm going to be previewing three Joshi women's wrestling big, big shows coming up. Uh, we got two for this week and one for next week. So, we got Seedling, we've got Ice Ribbon, and we have Sendai Girls. That's right. Hope y'all are ready for this triple header preview of three upcoming Joshi promotion shows. And I have to say, it's very exciting. Very, very exciting. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do Seedling first. We're going to go in the order of when they happen. So we're going to do Seedling first, then Ice Ribbon, and then Sendai Girls. Sound good? Cool. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started with Seedling. So Seedling will be having their eighth anniversary show at Corquin Hall on August 25th, which is actually this Friday? Yeah, this Friday. So we got that. And we have five matches, five matches for the show, including two title matches. So quite exciting to look forward to. But let's go ahead and start previewing the card for the Seedling 8th Anniversary Show. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. First up, oh, let me get rid of that. So first up, we got ourselves a tag team match here. We have the team of Ryo Mizunami and, and Miyuki Takase teaming up to take on you and Hiroyo Matsumoto. Uh, mm, this one's kind of tough to pick. This, this one's tough to pick. To be honest with you, this, this one could go either way. This one could actually go either way. Oh, man. Because I like... Oh, man. I like all four. I like all four ladies. I really, really do. Oh, man. This one is tough to pick. This one is really tough to pick. Oh, man. Oh, I like all four ladies. Um, you know what? I'm going to go with Hiroyo Matsumoto and you picking up the victory. Yeah, I'm going to go with that team. Because, you know, I, I love my Lady Destroyer. So, going to go with Hiroyo Matsumoto and you picking up the victory. But it really could go either way. It could go either way. Alrighty. Alright, let's keep it going. Okay, next up, we have a trios match. Uh, this should be really exciting. So, we have, on one side, we have the team of Asuka, Makoto, and Mima Shimoda taking on the trio of Itsuki Aoki, Mio Momono, and Misa Kagura. So, 
got a you know a lot of promotions represented here. You know, got some got some marvelous, got some two aw, got some just tap out. You know, some some good representation here. Uh. Hmm. This is another tough one, to be honest with you. I feel like both sides are pretty stacked. Yeah, both sides are pretty stacked. Um. Hmm. I'm going to go with the first team of Asuka, Mima, Shimoda, and Makoto. To pick up the victory. Yeah. But I think it's an, it's another one that could go either way. But should be really good. Should be a really good match. Okay. This next match <laughs> is quite an interesting one. Okay. So, being that this is featuring... Uh, Referee Tayo Natsuki, which she usually does uh, high speed uh, matches. But this has a special stipulation. So we got La Pedita versus Kakeru Sekiguchi. But here's the stipulation if La Pedita, if La P Pedita, if she wins, then Kakeru Sekiguchi has to go forward wrestling with a mask on. But if Kakeru Sekiguchi wins, La Pedita has to remove her mask. Wow. So very interesting stipulation here. Very interesting. Um... Now, don't get me wrong. I already know who who La Pedita is. I mean, I kind of figured it out, who she is under the mask. I mean, you know, it's it's kind of a, it's kind of a, a easy one. But, eh, I'm going to be cheering for La Pedita. Because I like, I like La Pedita. I love her, I love her entrance theme and I love her dancing. You know, she's a great dancer. So, I don't want her to lose her mask. So, I'm going to be, be pulling for La Pedita to pick up the victory. I think she's going to win and keep her mask. But if not, I mean, I already know who it's going to be. So, it's all good. Okay. Let's talk about some championship matches now, shall we? All right. Here we go. Okay, first up, we have the... Beyond the Sea Tag Team Championships on the line. As the champions, Ayame Sasamura and Riko Kaiju will defend against the team of Samire Natsu and Maya Yukihi. Uh, to be honest, I think this is kind of an easy one. I'm going to have to go with Ayame Sasamura and Riko Kaiju to pick up the victory. Um, I'm sure somebody's going to eat Samiri Natsu's Bronco Buster, but yeah, I just feel like she's she's going to end up taking the pin in this match. And, you know, I love Maya Yukihi. You know, I've met Maya Yukihi, so. Um, but should be a very entertaining match. But I'm picking the champs to retain. Okay, and then the main event, and this is a big one, a really, really big one. The main event of the Seedling 8th Anniversary Show comes down to the Beyond the Sea Single Championship on the line. As the champion, Arisa Nakajima will defend her title against Sari the Sun Goddess. Whew. Now, these two did square off in tag team competition back at Sariism Chapter 2, 
where um, Sari and Kairi teamed up and defeated Arisa Nakajima and Takumi Aroha. So, ooh man, this is this is big. This is really really big. You know what? Let me let me actually see how long Arisa Nakajima has been beyond the sea champion because I want to say she's. She's, she's been champion for a while. I think she's been champion for a good while. So, 238 days. Yeah, she's been the champ 238 days um, in her third reign. Remember, this is her third reign as Beyond the Sea champion. She, she's a three-time champ um her longest reign was her first reign which was 299 days her second reign was 281 days and right now she's at 238 days mmm mmm Oh, man. <sighs> to be honest with you, I would really, really love, I would actually love to see Sari pull it off. I would love to see her pull it off and dethrone Arisa Nakajima. Um, the interesting thing was during Arisa Nakajima's first, or excuse me, yeah, during her first reign, uh, hold on a second. So during her first reign, she defended the title successfully, one, two, three, four, four times before losing to Yoshiko. In her second reign, she defended it twice. Or not. Nah, uh, actually, three times before she had to, um, she had to vacate it. And then now, in her current reign, she's had three successful defenses. Ooh. Personally, I would love to see Sari dethrone Arisa Nakajima, but I wouldn't be mad if Arisa Nakajima won and retain. But I think this is going to be a, a phenomenal match. And ever since Sari left the WWE, she's been putting on some banger matches, and I totally believe this won't be any different. I'll be pulling for Sari, but you know, Arisa Nakajima, I like her too. Should be really good. This should be a really good match. But, that's your main event for the 8th uh, anniversary uh, seedling show. But yeah, August 25th at Corquin Hall. Should be really good. Okay. Um, Before we Switch gears to Ice Ribbon. Here's a quick word on the sponsor, Game Beauty. As you continue to watch and enjoy Blitzball Champ gaming content here on the U to the Two, be sure you take a moment to check out the link to the description for Game Beauty. Game Beauty offers a variety of video game themed makeup and cosmetic products. They offer items such as eyeshadow palettes, elemental pearl highlighters, eyeshadow brushes, and even non-makeup 
items such as these graphic t-shirts. They also have collaboration items like this Persona 5 Royal Limited Edition makeup collection, as you can see here, which you can get it as a full collection, or you can get different bundles of this collection, as well as different pieces separately. Also, Game Beauty offers free domestic and international shipping to most countries for orders over $60. And be sure to use the promo code BLITZBALL underscore CHAMP, all in caps, and you can get 10% off of your order. So be sure to take advantage of that nice little discount. And now, back to our regularly scheduled video. Enjoy. Alrighty. Let's switch gears to Ice Ribbon. So, Ice Ribbon, their next big show is called Ice in Wonderland 2023. And this will be on August 26, which is Saturday. And that will be also at Corquin Hall. So, hey, two big Corquin Hall shows, Seedling an ice ribbon okay for this show we got six matches two of them are championship matches um and we got a lot of fresh talent on this card as well so let's go ahead and dive right in first match Alrighty. first up we have a tag team match we have the team of asuka fujitaki and Curie taking on the team of former Ice Cross Infinity Champion Totoro Satsuki and Mifu Ashida. Now, I am I am familiar with, of course, Totoro Satsuki and Curie. I believe Asuka Fujitaki and Mifu Ashida, they might be new. I believe they're I believe they're new. But I've never I've never seen them before. So I'll be looking looking forward to seeing them for the first time. Uh, but I'm gonna go with the team of Totoro Satsuki and Mifu Ashida to pick up the victory. But yeah, should be good. But that is your opening contest. Alright, let's see. Let's go to the next match. Okay, we got ourselves a trios match for the second match on the card. Team number one, we got Nene Furukawa, Saran, and Yuki Minami taking on the team of Mayuka Koiki, Arisa Shinose, and Yu Hanaya. Now... I'm familiar with Saran, and I'm familiar with Arisa Shinose. Because I believe that one of the recent shows, Arisa Shinose debuted. Um, but I believe the other four ladies are new. I believe they are new. So, really, this match could go either way, I guess. This could really go either way. Um, I'm going to be watching this match very carefully because, like I said, a lot of the talent in this match I've never seen before. Um, Let's go. I'm going to just take a wild guess and say Mayuka Koiki, Arisa Shinose, and Yu Hanaya end up picking up the victory. But, you know... As long as it's a good match, you know, I don't care too much about who wins. But I think it should be a really interesting match. You know, I'm looking forward to getting to know the new faces. You know what I mean? Okay, let's keep it moving. 
with our next match. All right. All right, we got ourselves a tag team match. We got the team of Kaho Matsushita and Hikari Shimizu taking on the team of Kiku and Hisoka. Of course, uh, Hisoka, you know, from Just Tap Out, Hikari Shimizu, part of Colors. Um, this match could go either way. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Kaho Matsushita and Hikari Shimizu to pick up the victory. I, I think they're a little bit of a stronger team in this match, so I'm I'm gonna go with that team to pick up the victory. Should be good though. Should be really good. Alrighty, let's keep it going. All right, we got another tag team match for you. Here we go. We got an interesting pairing here, or at least on one side. So the first team, we have the team of Sukina Umino and Dark Silhouetta, which Dark Silhouetta is apparently from CMLL. And they're going to be taking on the team of Hikari Minami and Hinata. And if I remember correctly, Hikari Minami and Hinata recently, a while back, had a, had an uh, international ribbon tag team title shot, which they weren't able to uh, capitalize on. But they, they had a pretty dang on good match. Uh, hmm. I'm not familiar with Dark Silhouetta. Um, Tsukina Umino and Dark Silhouetta. I'm going to go with them. I know Hikari Minami and Hinata just recently had a tag tag team title match. Then they did pretty well, but... Eh. Yeah. I'm going to go with Tsukina Umino and Dark Silhouetta to pick up the victory. Okay, now let's get ready to go into our championship matches. Okay. Oh, we got a good one here. Check this out. We got ourselves a three-way, a triple threat, international ribbon tag team championship match. As the champions, Hamuko Hoshi and Makoto will defend against the team of Akari and Yapi and the team of Misa Kagura and Sumika Yanagawa. Wow, so we got we got a team from Pure J and a team from Just Tap Out involved in this championship match. Ooh, this is spicy. Uh I don't know. Misa Kagura, Sumika Yanagawa, that's a pretty good team. That's that's a pretty good team. Um Yappy Akari, I know Yappy um, a while back actually had uh, had a really good title match uh, back against Totoro Satsuki when she was still champion. Um, oh man. I'm looking very forward to this match. I think this match is going to be awesome, but I'm going to go with Hamuko Hoshi and Makoto to retain the International Ribbon Tag Team Championships. But this should be a really good match. Totally very excited for it. And then, the
the main event of Ice in Wonderland 2023 comes down to this beauty. The Ice Cross Infinity Championship will be on the line as the champion, Yuri from Ganbare, will be defending against Ibuki Hoshi. And remember, Ibuki Hoshi is a former uh, International Ribbon Tag Team Champion. Uh, you know, Yuri's been on a roll, especially since dethroning, which many may say was an upset, her dethroning Totoro Satsuki to become Ice Cross Infinity Champion. Um, I think Ibu Ibuki Hoshi will put up a good fight, but I'm going to go with Yuri to retain. I think she's going to retain and continue to show her strength. So Yuri picking her to retain the Ice Cross Infinity Championship. But it should be a good main event. should be a really good main event. But yeah, I I like this card. I definitely like this card. Looking forward to checking it out. I have it ordered. Looking forward to checking it out. But yeah, that is that is your Ice and Wonderland 2023 card. And like I said, that is August 26, and that'll also be at Corcoran Hall. So, looking forward to that. Okay. And now we are going to finish off with Sendai Girls. That's right. Thankfully, this will be available on Zyko for live streaming. So thank y'all so much for putting that up on Zyko. I'll be able to watch it. I, I've ordered it. I am so ready. Sendai Girls Big Show in Niigata. Um... I don't know exactly the venue, but um, it'll be in Niigata. That's that's the name of the show. The big show in Niigata. But uh, we have six matches, with one of them being a championship match. And this card looks like a very solid card. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, first up, we have a singles match. We have Eureka Oka versus Cosmic Angels Natsupoi from Stardom. Ooh, so good to see Natsupoi back on Sendai Girls. Of course, she had that really, really brutal match against Big Hosh Chihiro Hashimoto. Um, she put up a good fight, but wasn't able to beat her. Uh, but I think Natsupoi will get back on the winning track. She's been doing good in the five-star Grand Prix. And I think she will definitely pick up the victory and defeat Eureka Oka at the big show, Sendai Girls show. But should be good. But it's really cool to see Natsupoi back, on, back in Sendai Girls. I think that's awesome. Happy for her. Alrighty, let's go to our next match. Ugh, we're really, we're really gonna have this again, eh? We are really gonna have this again. Well, might as well get it over with. Singles match, Sakura Hirota Kyosei versus Iger. Oh, man. And I believe Iger won last time they faced each other. I mean... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's going to be a comedy match. So, I mean... Uh, Sakura Hirota. I'm going to pick her. I'm going to just randomly pick her to win. That's all I got. But get ready for a lot of spooky stuff and a lot of chains rattling and a lot of butt stabbing. That's all I can say. 
Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Let's move on to the next match. All right. So next up, we got ourselves a trios match. Got a trios match. So team number one, we got Ryo Mizunami, Aja Kong, and Lena Cross taking on the trio of Sari Ano, Chi Chi, and Sari the Sun Goddess. Wow, so we got um, Lena Cross, which I believe she was on the last Sendai Girls show that I checked out via Zyko, and uh, Chi Chi from uh, Evolution, the little small uh, Evolution promotion uh, that had Chi Chi, Sunny, and Zones. But yeah, Chi Chi is back uh, on this show, which Chi Chi uh, had a match at uh, Sariism Chapter 2. So, good to see her back in Sendai Girls. Uh, hmm. Hmm. This one's tough. This one's tough. Mm. Something tells me Chi Chi might be the one to eat the pen. But maybe maybe Lana Cross might might eat the pen on the other team. I don't I don't I don't know. Um I'm going to well This is a tough one actually. Um I'm gonna. I'm gonna play it safe and predict Ryo Mizunami, Aja Kong, and Lena Cross to pick up the victory. But I will be cheering hard for Sariano, Sari, and Chi Chi. I want I want them to win, but I think Aja Kong's team is gonna win. I think that team is gonna win. But. Should be good. Should be really good. All right, next up. All right, we got the we got a non-title match here, but we got the Sendai Girls uh, champion Millie McKenzie, and she'll be taking on Manami. Um, I think it's a pretty easy pick. Gonna go with Millie McKenzie to pick up the victory. Uh, it's a bummer that the title's not on the line, but eh, that's okay. That's okay. Besides, if the title was on the line, then this would be the main event. But eh, it's all cool. So some non-title action. It happens. Okay. Next up. Now this is a match I'm definitely, definitely looking very forward to. We got ourselves a special tag team match. We have the team of Red Energy, made up of Mika Iwata and Miyuki Takase, taking on the team of Kairi and Vinny. Vinny, a.k.a. Asuka. But, whoo-wee. Now, I personally... I think this has a chance of going to a time limit draw. I think it has a chance of going to a time limit draw. But if I had to pick one, I have to go, go with Kyrie and, and Vinny. Of course, Vinny, former Sendai Girls uh, world champion. So. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with Kyrie and, and Vinny to pick up the victory. But I, I think it, there's a chance it could end in a draw. I think there's a chance. Okay, and now for our main event. And this is a very exciting one. But here we go, the main event. 
we will have the Sendai Girls Tag Team Championships on the line as the champions team 200 kilograms made up of Ch Big Hosh, Chihiro Hashimoto, and you, and they will be defending against former champions, Rewa Ultimate Powers, made up of Dash Chisako and Lady Destroyer, Hiroyo Matsumoto. Oh, man. Ooh, this is, this is big. This is pretty big, I must say. Um, uh, if I remember correctly, you, let me see, they, so, Team 200 kg, 200 kilograms. So far, they've been the Sendai Girls uh, Tag Team Champions for 192 days. Um... Well, I know a lot of folks really wanted Red Energy to dethrone them. Really, really wanted Red Energy to dethrone them. But uh, I wouldn't mind seeing uh, Rewa Ultimate Powers get the titles back. Oh, man. Ugh. I think it could go either way, but Something tells me that Team 200 Kilograms are going to retain the Sendai Girls Tag Team titles. They just, they've been on a roll. They've been on a roll, and it's like, they seem very unstoppable. So, I'm going to play it safe and go with Team 200 uh, Kilograms to pick up the victory. But, should be good. Should be a really good match. Overall, a great show. Like I said, I'm just happy that it's going to be on Zyko. But there you have it, y'all. The triple threat. Seedling 8th Anniversary. Ice Ribbons, Ice in Wonderland 2023. Sendai Girls, Big Show, and Nigata. And that show will be on September 2nd. Uh, I'm sorry, I totally failed to mention the date before. September 2nd. So definitely looking very forward to all three of these shows. But yeah, that will do it for this video, for this preview. Don't forget to check out the link to Game Beauty. And let me know what y'all's thoughts are on all three of these shows. Are you excited about them? Seedling 8th Anniversary, Ice Ribbon, Ice in Wonderland 2023, Sendai Girls, Big Show and Nigata. But yeah, let me know what y'all think of the cards. Uh, let me know your predictions. Do you think there'll be any title changes? Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. For another Pro Wrestling Talk, brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube, my name is Jason Ingram. Hope everybody has a blessed evening, and I will see y'all in the next video. Take care. Later.